Well, everybody, I thought this would make a good picture. Look at this. That's the Rogersville water tower near where the school is. And we can see really good the moon. Both of them at the... Oh, there's the moon. Water tower. See how close we can get in on the water tower. Pretty dead gum clay. Alright, thought I'd just show you that. Alright, well, today is Wednesday the 17th. I am riding the bicycle, but I gotta take it easy. I uh, went to talk to my doctor and my back is giving me a little bit of a problem, a little bit of an issue. So she asked me to cut it in half. <laughs> and uh, so I'm going to take her up on it. I'm going to start off slow and uh, build back up. I took three days off. So I'm not Superman. <laughs> I'm not all that in a bag of chips. I'm just like anybody else. Uh, I can go too hard. And it don't pay to go too hard right now when I'm looking at the longevity of this thing. I'm looking at uh, three years out, 10 years out. And uh, so if I'm training to be world champion by the time I'm in the 70 year old bracket, I can't blow my gasket. I got to take my time and do it right. So I'm going to uh, get all the proper rest I can and I'm, I'm going to do what I got to do to, you know, keep this thing going. But uh, I don't think I'm going to crank out no 100 today. I'm going to get what I need to get. <laughs> she said half. I get, I'm going to get half, maybe a little bit better. Just a little bit. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do what she told me. <laughs> Because she's going to be looking at my driver. <laughs> All right. You got to mind your doctors, people. <laughs> you don't let them kill you, but you got to, you got to do what they, you know, you got to, you got to do what they say to a, yeah, yeah, just do what they say. Don't, don't get in trouble, buddy. It ain't worth it. All right. Thank y'all. I'll let you know where I'm at here pretty soon. Because getting half of it ain't going to take long. <laughs> All right. Bye-bye. Well, I'm going to try to show you something. There's the sun. And if I flip 180 degrees, you can still see the moon. Barely. But it's there. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. And let's see if we can pull it out. Well, you just got to take my word. It's there. See it right there in the middle of the screen. It's almost translucent, but it's there. Ah. And one cut, I'm going to go 180 degrees and show you the sun. Ain't that pretty? There goes a the bike rider. All right, I made it to the Hardys. So I was saying about my doctor, I'm gonna put some information right about now to show and explain who she is. And I don't want all you guys to be the path to her because I don't want her to get so busy she can't help me. <laughs> but I can tell you this, she's dang good at what she does and I wouldn't go to nobody else. I'm, I mean, I'm here in this part of the world, in this country, part of the country, so I will go to her. But the, the thing is, uh, she's right. As bad as I want to go hard today, I, I'm not going to do it. Now, I'm going to give you just a tiny, tiny bit of information. Uh, the type of back injury I got was pretty severe at the time that it happened. I had uh, knee surgery 
So I twisted and tore up my knee, but the knee injury masked the back injury that happened at the same time. And so nobody ever <laughs> treated the back injury. And I, it was left up to me to do what I had to do to get physically fit again. And so I told a lot of people that's what I was gonna do and that's what I did. Long story short, I may go into that one day and explain that whole thing. But the best way I can tell you this is I rehabilitated myself up to this point now. Now I have these flare ups every now and then. and uh, But I decided to talk to her about, about it. And uh, so she come up with uh, something that's gonna, gonna solve the problem. Because when you got something like that, you got inflammation you got swelling, you got, you know, you can only do so much with ice. So, no, I'm not taking pain pills. No, I don't take any drugs, but I will advocate to a little bit of what she says I need and go at it like she said, just do half. If you were gonna do 100 today, just do half of it work your way back into it because I have taken three days off and I can feel it I, I can tell it would be hard for me to go hard but hard-headed me would have probably tried to do it but like she explained if I if I do it I may be sitting out quite a while <laughs> I may get so sto so sore and stoved up that I can't do nothing now let me say this about sore and stoved up if you want to talk about getting sore and stoved up, let me take three months off and not do nothing. And I'd done that in the past. And it was like forever to start back to get to where I was pain free again. So when you see me working out, you better believe the reason I'm working out is to stay pain free. That's the only way I can do it with this kind of injury I've got. All right, well, that's the first part of what I want to tell you. All right, now the second part of what I want to tell you is uh, I posted a video from uh, Edge of Wonder, the two guys that I kind of like a lot. But look, I don't take their word for nothing. And I don't expect you to take my word for anything. I expect you to do your research just like I've done. I don't believe anybody about anything. I like what some people say and I dislike what other people say. I research it and I find out what's bull and what's not. But one of the things is they was talking about and I posted it. Now I've said this before in many videos and I'll say it again. There's nothing wrong with the understanding of the law of attraction when it comes to the true teaching of the secret. Now that thing got watered down right out of the gate. When it got popular, it was popular amongst the circle of people that could really hear it at the very beginning. So it had Abraham Hicks, Esther Hicks in the first video, the first DVD that was released before Oprah Winfrey got her hands on it. Now then when Oprah Winfrey got her hands on it, she invited Esther onto a podcast that she was doing that wasn't on mainstream news and media. So she repurposed the video, the DVD, with uh, Rhonda Bondham, the one that wrote the book, The Secret. And she took it mainstream and it blew up, you know, 30 million books were sold. But it's a watered down, diluted, not so good version. Now I practice uh, the law of attraction on a daily basis by speaking live to my atoms and cells. And I'm here to tell you that it, it's not to make you wealthy. I've said this from the beginning. You can, you can have a windfall. You can have a blessing. You can have something that will change your life. But it's usually because you worked hard for it. It's usually because you took the right steps to do it. And it's usually because it was meant to be. And nothing could have stopped it anyway. But the one thing that when we focus on our thoughts when it comes to our body, our health, and our mental ability to have peace in this world, that's the law of attraction. That's the truth. 
Now, Earl Nightingale, I'll post a link in the description box and show you a picture of who he is. He put out a DVD, a spoken word DVD in 1950 something. I don't know the exact date, but I'll post it if I know, know that. I'll just check the description box for his information. But uh, it was the first spoken word record that sold over a million copies. Yeah, and he sold it. But it, it, he, after he sold it, he gave it away. But uh, his understanding of what I, the way I understand the law of attraction and the secret that he's speaking of is what I give more credence to than uh, this watered down version of the secret that Oprah Winfrey and Hollywood got involved with. So that's why I posted uh, the Edge of Wonder guys so y'all could see a different understanding of how the secret has been incorporated not necessarily for your good or any positive type of understanding but there's people that are using it to grow wealth and that's their business they can do whatever they want to with it well, I'm gonna tell you if you don't have your health you ain't got nothing but if you got your health you got th you got something that billionaires don't have some billionaires and multi-millionaires are the sickest people that you'll ever meet. So you want to be healthy. Above all things, you want to be healthy. And that's what you can do by speaking life to your body, your atoms, your cells, your DNA. You can speak health into existence, or you can speak death into your body. It's your call. All right, I'm going to go. How long you had that car? Years, wow, it's gorgeous. What is it? 66 Chevrolet Super Sport. 66 Chevrolet Super Sport. 47,000 miles. 47,000. Ah, is it the original paint? Yeah, it's Okay. I'm going to go get a close up of it. Okay. Well, I wish you'd look at this. It's a beautiful car. Chevy Impala SS 1966 is what I was told. And uh, the lines are just gorgeous. The way the sun is bouncing off of it right now really shows the color. He says it's got 47 or 46,000 miles on it. And it was bought from an older couple, bought it brand new. Boy, they must have took really good care of it and barely used it. But I think he said that was original paint. Well, it sure is gorgeous. All right, I got to get on down that road.